Well, it's Saturday, it's lunchtime, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that sky. So I'm just contemplating and umming and eyeing about what to do. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to chill for a bit. I think I'm going to get quite a large meal in with quite a lot of carbs. I'm going to chill, I'm going to sunbathe, I'm going to top up on my tan. Um, answer back to a few questions, emails, messages. Um, top up that vitamin D and then... I think I'll get to the gym maybe about five or six and do a leg session. Um, so for once, yeah, I'm just, just going to chill and very rare occasion that I have Saturdays to myself. So I'm going to enjoy it. <sighs> Look at that. And I've got a t-shirt on as well. But um, yeah, it's still Saturday afternoon. It's early afternoon and I just thought, you know what? I'm going to make the most out of this afternoon. Um, spend some time with family go for a walk, get into town, get a few bits and bobs, grab a nice lunch, treat myself to a lunch, you know. I know I have been trying to follow like an intermittent f fasting type diet and uh, albeit apart from last most of last week, um, there was a lot of takeaways, albeit they were semi-healthy, but um, starting a complete new diet hopefully uh, next week slash in the coming days, just need to get a few things in. Um, yeah, it's nice and sunny and for me, you know what, having a Saturday afternoon free is fantastic because for so long I have not had a Saturday afternoon free and I'll tell you why. Um, obviously there's the odd time where I've done an event or a show or a fashion show or hosting or presenting on a Saturday but to be honest, most of my weekends for the best part of flipping neck 10 years uh, be it minus last year because obviously we were on a lockdown um, we're all to do with sports development I either had my own club or I was based at somebody else's club whether it was you know um, boxing, kickboxing, martial arts, circuit training personal training, all that good stuff so you know what, for a long time I've not had the weekends to myself so to have it now I just try and utilise the time best that I can and uh, squeeze whatever things in that I can. Um, so for now, I'm gonna jump in, jump into town. Maybe grab some lunch, buy a few bits and bobs, have a nice walk, get some vitamin D, get a suntan, uh, get some lunch, chill with my mommy, and then see what happens with the rest of the day. So there's already one good positive of being out on a nice sunny Saturday afternoon when I'm not usually out on a bar. I've just bumped into. Uh, uh, an old friend of mine who once upon a time we used to chill out every day and then life changes, commitment changes and all that kind of stuff uh, we've never really fallen out of touch we just don't chill as much any as much anymore I just bumped into him and had such a really good conversation and it's nice to see friends that I know people that I know friends that I care about people that I care about developing, developing into responsible adults I'm not going with just the usual norms of um, drama and impulse and problems and all this kind of stuff. You know, becoming a responsible adult for themselves, for their family, for their friends, for society, for the community. It's really nice. And I'm sure that's another topic we'll touch on another day. Yes, and I've put a ton of oil in my hair as well. So that's why I look too greasy and shiny. Bye. Today's lunch is courtesy of Istanbul's Kitchen, which you can find on Instagram and Facebook. Fantastic, fresh, authentic Turkish food. Got creamy chicken there, creamy mustard chicken. There's some chicken rice as well, and authentic Turkish bread. So. If you're looking for a grill, a nice Adana kebab, this is the place to come. Got KFC over there, not going there today. Got my Turkish kitchen, and then from, I'm gonna have that with my mommy. And I've also bought some passion fruit, because she really likes them. Um, I might put it in the video later to show you what it looks like, because um, they're in the bag and they're wrapped up, but she really likes them, and it makes, her, remember her childhood when she used to eat them all the time in the hot sun so why not mommy time 
wild and wonderful hair. That's because it's really hot, so it's starting to go frizzy again. But, um, so I've done, been to mom's, I've had something to eat. Next on the list was sort the supplements out, which I've still not made a video about. And uh, then go to the gym for a quick 45 minutes. But on the way, leaving my mum's, um, I found a, a bird that was injured and it's just really bugged me. So I've, I'm going back prepared with gloves and a pet carrier. And I'm gonna see if the bird's still there and I'm gonna try and rescue it. So, see what happens. So there you have it. I've had a quick, about 50 minutes in the gym. Uh, um, pretty much every exercise that I did last time on lower body. Um, I've either beaten the reps or increased the weight and I think on one or two exercises I've increased the weight and beat the reps um, I'm gonna give myself a day or two off and then I think I'm gonna go back to full body workouts and I'm gonna keep it compound list so it's gonna be squat or leg press with uh, bench press or chest press with lap pull down or barbell row with shoulder press deadlifts and then finish with pull-ups and dips and i think i'm just going to do that one day on one day off or one day on two days off depending on if i feel like i need it or if i feel really sore and um, because i feel like again it's only early days this is just under three weeks back in the gym but i think with good food good rest good recoveries getting the liquid in getting the aminos in getting the protein in i just feel like a full body workout is going to get me stronger quicker put the mass on a bit quicker and get strength overall in a balanced way um i feel like my legs are a lot stronger than they used to be which is a nice surprise i think with most pressing movements i feel quite strong and stable not too wobbly I feel a bit weak on pulling movements so um lats bicep but my grip's still really good and um, because when i'm hanging off the bar i'm easily hanging off the bar for 30 to 45 seconds i start struggling around 50 seconds onwards but again probably being a harsh critic and overthinking it and um, and literally for me it's rest recovery and the nutrition as well because at the end of the day you can train as hard as you want as much as you want and sometimes more is better but i think for me and what i'm trying to go for which is i'm just trying to put on as much size as much weight and as much strength as i can and then see where i go from there and i want to stay active as well and keep my cardio levels um in check and quite frankly because of working directly i mean i'm walking um around 60 miles over five days regardless so um off home now finish my water while i was in the gym so i'm gonna refill this put some vitamin c in it drink that jump in the shower and then it's going to be straight on to my meal too it's still quite early it's about 8 p.m so or just after 8 p.m so i've still got the rest of the night to get another meal or two in um so yeah but boy am I tired and I really need a shave because that salt and pepper beard is not doing anything for me. I have a, a simple meal, some uh, rice, chicken and noodles all mixed up. I've got some like, salad coleslaw, some chicken and yogurt sauce, a piece of garlic bread. And then because I'm trying to stay healthy and not have a, a soft drink, I'm having an Oshi Pro Shot. It's got magnesium, niacin and B12 and it's uh, guava and raspberry flavour so just to feel like I've had a soft drink but it's not a soft drink and I'll tune in to the Predator. This is what I've saved today. She's got an injured wing and an injured tail. And as you can see, she's got a bit of um, poo on her. She's in a bit of shock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some water and some seeds. This was meant to be gym time now, but it's now turned into an animal hospital. It's quite calm, I'm quite surprised. Uh, but the, at the end of the day, it's still an animal. They can still peck your eyes and stuff. So you've gotta be careful. 
Um, it is watching me, but it can see that it's got a bit of damage to its beak as well. So what I might try and do is actually try and clean it a little bit. Um, it is trying to fly again, which is good, but um, we'll see how it gets on. See, it's the tail, tail and the wing. But it's really good that it started moving. It was in a lot of shock before. So I just wanted to have a bit of a rest. Come, come on. You have to act like an animal when you're with animals. Come on. Come on. Don't look at me like that. Good. No. Oh. I think I'll pick her up. I'm quite sure she's been hit by a car. Um, and she is letting me hold her with both wings. I am a bird handler, not just the birds, but proper birds. Um, and I am an animal person, so I've got to do whatever I can. Got enough space in there i'm gonna put some water some seeds let it have a bit of a rest and then see how it's doing in the morning so i'm gonna do that now and then it's pre-workout and gym time and sort my hair out as well see you in a bit guys so it's it's actually gone dark now if you look outside the window you can't really tell but it's gone dark big bangs on um i'm just put some pre-workout i tiny bit of stimulant because i've had a long not even a long day i think i've sweated a lot um because of the heat and the sun and then obviously the excitement with the crow i think it's a crow crow it might be a jackdaw but um you know if there's two things i'm good at is uh, kids and animals so you can see the connection with the animals straight away so i've put the animal comfortably with some fresh air, with some water, with some food. I'm gonna down that, nip to the toilet. I'm ready to go. Today's leg day. I'm literally gonna get in, probably not that much of a long warm up, probably just a warm up with the circuit on all the machines I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna go leg press, hamstring curl, leg extension, calf raise, and then I think I'm gonna do deadlifts. And with deadlifts, it's always important to warm up. I've not done it for a long time. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like sets of five to five to eight reps and then work up towards a heavy weight and then do one set to positive failure with that. And then a set of dips, a set of, a set of pull-ups, a set of dips, one set each to failure. And then I'm going to hang off the bar. I'm going to do 35 to 50 seconds. Um, before that, I'll do four sets of 25 on leg raises or ab crunches. And then that's it, I'm out of there. I think there's only an hour, just over an hour left till the gym closes. So I'm literally gonna down this, go for a wee and head to the gym. So sorry, there won't be much of a video in the gym. I know some people have been whinging that can't see you working out, the videos are boring, the videos are the same. Listen, it's my journey, it's me on my own. I'm recording most of this, like, you know, with selfie stick and whatever. So hopefully soon. And yes, I still don't know what's going on with my hair. All I know is the hotter I get, <laughs> the curlier it goes but anyway let me guys oh before we go today's pre-workout is rich piano full as i've had one and a half scoops and i've put a bit of cordial in there just so it's um easier to drink i'm gonna drink it till there's about that much left i'm guessing that's like 60 mils and then i'm gonna top the water up till it's still there and drink that while i'm in the gym so see you guys in a bit <sighs> welcome back to another episode of so it's sunday i've um i've not curled my hair it's literally as it's getting hot it happened yesterday Curled my hair put some oil in it got it all straight and then the hotter it got the more it uh, started curling up and i've already started with the superman curl Um it's sunday so it's my day day 19 more than likely i'm not going to go to the gym today um, because I did go yesterday I had a leg workout which was the same as my last leg workout but I basically beat the reps or I increased the weight or both of some exercises kept it short and sweet because I was limited on time by the time I got to the gym I only had like about 50 minutes so quick warm-up straight into the exercises finished with abs like usual 
Today it's Sunday, as you can see, it's a beautiful day, and I thought it'd be ridiculous not to top up the tan. And I wasn't planning on nipping out, but I do need a couple of things from the shop. Um, just basic stuff, you know, so I'm gonna get that. And you know what, I decided to have a bit of a shave as well, um, because I just thought, obviously I'm waiting on a call back, and it kind of does require me to have like a beard, but you know what, let's say hypothetically I do get it. Um, I mean, they could put a fake one on anyway, if they've got all that stuff. But um, yeah, I'm having a lazy, lazy Sunday. I've had a bit of um, bit of brekkie, I've had some cookies and uh, I've had a coffee and I'm just having a lazy Sunday even with regards to um, eating and drinking as well but um, in a nutshell I've got a really really extremely busy week and you know for I'll just tell it how it is, keeping it real and all that kind of stuff. You know, the majority of people that I speak to, especially like clients and people that do go to the gym, etc. When the majority of them say they're busy, literally, they're not really busy. It's just they have um, put other stuff first, which, how can I explain it simply? Basically, they not most of my clients do a 9 to 5 sit here or there give or take right and beyond that they don't have much responsibilities i think with me obviously i do a million and one jobs i have my regular work i have the work beyond my work i have the supplements i have the reviews to do don't forget i'm a supplement tester as well um i also do another job ad hoc um, so i'm always doing different bits and bobs but this week genuinely i have got a lot of things to do so what i've decided is i'm literally just gonna eat whatever's in the house um, you know good bad not too much junky not too much bad I just mean like you know it might not end up being a fresh piece of piece of fish it might end up being you know a frozen one or it might end up being uh, a, a ready-made burger as opposed to a homemade patty um, I've got a lot going on this week and hopefully you'll see it in another episode of one of my other YouTube series and um, and then hopefully this time next week i'll be getting ready to start a proper mass gaining diet albeit that's with regards that everything goes to plan and everything works out and everything goes well because you know what life's full of challenges ups downs lefts rights ins outs good bad ugly sometimes even beyond ugly and you know life's gonna keep hitting you and it's just about how you can overcome whatever it is and keep moving forward and you know sometimes there's happiness and sometimes there's sadness sometimes you know you're winning and sometimes there's tragedy it's just all part of life so you know take each day as it comes but like try and maximize the day and i know you know sometimes when you watch these self um, help videos or motivation videos and it's like yeah take on the day and do this and do that but you know what yeah in an ideal world we would do that but you know first thing is we don't live in an ideal world and the second thing is to be honest some of us do have problems issues health issues mental health um, just a struggle with the day to day for whatever reason so the only thing you can do is do the best you can do do you know what I mean so you just basically maximize your time and try not to um, use any of your time on negative things, negative people, uh, rubbish things, bad habits, anything like that. Just do your best um, and that's all you can do. But for now, I'm going to take my Superman kill and get into town. So see you in a bit. Hi guys, another episode of Buddy. Rebuild. I think my forearms are improving a little bit. Anyhow, today is my day 20. Um, I'm feeling quite tired today. Um, I feel a bit drained today. And to be honest, I think it's because of the heat, sitting in the sun too much, and um, sleeping with a small fan on and nothing covering me. So I've woke up with a bit of a... <laughs> Like that, so I'm gonna have a rest. I'm meant to be going to the gym today. 
because I've had one day off. But I wasn't planning on doing just upper body. I was planning on going back to the full body workouts. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the day as it comes. And uh, I'm going to get some food in, going to get some drink in, see how I feel. I have got bits of work to do and then I am at work later on. So as opposed to rushing everything and squashing everything in, I'm just going to see how my day goes and see how I feel. Might get into the gym later on, I might not, it just depends. Um, this video will probably follow on from my day 19, because today is day 20. Did I say day 20 before? I don't know, but anyway, today is my definitely my day 20. Yesterday, my day 19, I started with my usual first video that I do, like, hey, yeah, um. But yesterday, all I did was literally nap, eat, drink, nap, eat, drink, nap, and then did a little bit of work. So, um, so yeah, I'll be back in a little bit when you have your food. First brunch, whatever you want to call it, we have got the soft farmhouse gluten-free bread. I've cut the crust off. We've got some uh, Polish coleslaw that I've got from the local shop. Just got some chicken that's lightly pan frying with a tiny bit of oil. And a special, what's this? What's the drink? No, what's the name? Lime juice. Lime juice. And then obviously a bit of mayo. Haha, <laughs> boy. Finished lunch. And look who's come to say hi. It's Big Boy. Say hi, Suki. Say hello. I'm about to get off to work for the day, but these two are having like a pay-per-view face-off. What's his face? What's his yeah, better than Logan Paul and flipping Mayweather. What a load of crap that was. Go on, Suki. Go. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. There's a big size difference between Suki and Big Boy. And it's a shame this angle probably doesn't show it. And Big Boy's got massive teeth compared to Suki. But Suki's a house cat and she's a good girl and she's going to stay in. But this is how she interacts when she sees another cat. Hello. We finished work, got home. It's still daylight. I'm just sat in a dark room because... Sometimes I like sitting in the dark. Um, finished work. Had some to eat. Had quite a lot to eat. So again, you know, indirectly I've still done an intermittent, intermittent fasted day. Like I said, I'm going to give myself all this week just to have a really, like, loose diet. And what I mean by that is... Say tomorrow I end up having breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. That's fine. Um, today should have been a gym day. And it should have been. But. 
like a few of the people I've spoke to today, I woke up today and I felt really groggy. Um, and I'm not too sure why. Is it the gym days catching up to me? Is it I've not drank enough? Is it I slept with nothing covering me, with a fan on, lack of sleep, whatever it was, I just didn't allow myself to dwell on any of that. And literally from when I got up, I was like, right, rest, recover, liquid, vitamin C, zinc. I'm going to have a few of the vitamins later on. And just in between now, I'm just going to snack on things like dates and nuts and maybe even just a little bit of junk. Um, but I say that, but to be honest, I don't really have that much junk in the drawers besides chocolates, chocolates, chocolates and more chocolate. Um, I don't really have much junk because... As I've been coming into this like body rebuild series, I just wanted to stop eating junk. Like I just don't see the point. Like, yeah, brilliant, it tastes good, but what's it doing for me? It's not, it's not benefiting me in any way, health wise or physical wise, cosmetic wise. So yeah, I've still got quite a few things to do tonight. I might jump on the bike and go out for a bit. I would show you my ride around the streets because it's quite a nice ride around like between 9 and 11. Um, there's not that many cars on the road. I mean, there's a few idiots that think they're in Fast and Furious, but you're going to get that some places. It's a nice ride, especially when the weather's like this, but got a few things to do, a few voices. I'm quite tired to be honest. Uh, if I had a warm drink now, like if I had a decaf coffee or something, I could probably just knock out and go to sleep, but... Bit gutted I didn't go to the gym today. Should I happen to go to gym tomorrow, it will be at 12, 12.30. Should I not happen to go to the gym by 12, 12.30, then I'm not going to go. And that's because there's quite a few other things happening tomorrow. Um, I've got like some deliveries. I've got some collections to do. I've got a delivery to collect. Or a parcel to collect. There's a lot of stuff going on. And I really want, I've ordered some like rigs and stuff for my. Um, I just realized that probably would have been better. Oh, look, it's glowing! Um, but just, yeah, camera rig and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I've got like a tripod and I can prop the camera up when I want to record stuff in the gym because I'm conscious that it's a little bit boring. And it's just a few pictures and images but you know what this is my journey i'm doing it the best that i can don't hate the player hate the game or whatever it is at the end of the year i think some people will be interested because there's always videos on youtube where somebody does their transformation and it's like well this is what i you know this is where i am now this is what i do and they just tell you what to do and they show you the training but they never you never get to see a somebody like blank canvas like potentially me whatever you want to call it like i mean these days it's all about labeling things so i guess if you're going to label me then it'd be like slim with a bit of fat if that makes sense um uh, some people say, oh, you're not carrying any fat but for me it is fat because i've always had abs and this is the like the first year that i don't have abs so yeah got a bit of a headache to be honest and I, you know what i think it's just water um i have spent quite a bit of time in the sun but for now i'm going to kick in with the rest of my evening yeah bye bye for now